Yeah, initially for me, it was, um, I'm, at, I'm, I'm at peace with what happened today. Um, today, I wanted to end a process I started, you know, five years ago after Rio, um, after what's happened. And I'm happy that I saw it through to, to the end, uh, regardless of the outcome. And um, you know, I, I didn't give up. And I, I guess for me, it's, I'm just happy that I've managed to hold out um, after some you know, ridiculous uh, daily challenges that um, not many people will get through. So I'm just happy that I'm, I, I actually made it on the platform. I think for me, um, what people should take away from my story, um, regardless of you know, sport or actually just not sport, just life in general, is um, it's not really about the outcome. Um, it's, it's how you apply yourself within a process, what you learn about yourself through the process, how much you can take from challenges and keep going um, and see something through to the end, regardless of the outcome. Um, and I guess I could have retired three years ago after my options, but I wanted to push Crohn's, you know, to, to limits that nobody's ever taken it to um, and prove, you know, so, some doctors wrong that it can't be done with what's happened to me. But, um, you know, I, I knew from then on that my, my goalpost had to change. It wasn't about the medal, it was about actually just, just getting there would be my medal. And, and I know this sounds a bit weird, but what happened today and just getting here is the best achievement of my career. And it wasn't, it's not the world records or the medal from Rio or, you know, my crazy celebrations today was the greatest achievement of my life. And um, I hope people take that um, as, you know, as, you know, sincere and, you know, true. Um, you know, I'm not playing it down. I, it, you know, it is up there with one of the top achievements of my life because it's been the most challenging experience of my life. Well, I think the number one priority post games is to try and get into remission. Uh, I need to prioritise putting my health first rather than performance. And I think my friends and family will probably like to hear that now after what I've put them through. Um, I think I'm still very young for the sport. Like, I think I was probably the second or third youngest today. Uh, and, and as you said previously, what I did in Rio would have won it today. So I know that if a healthy Ali would be up there with the best guys in the world, um, but it's whether or not I can get, I can actually achieve remission. Um, and that has to be the foundation of my decisions going forward because I can't repeat another cycle like this one um, in what I've done because uh, it's risky and unsustainable. Um, so I need to go away, focus on my health, try and get into remission, and then decide whether or not um, you know, the Paralympic flame is still burning bright and I want to come back. But um, first and foremost, my health has to come first now. Um, I think I got the most out of my body that I possibly can today. Um, unfortunately, with how unpredictable my body is, um, we've had to fight for everything every single day, and we just don't know what my body's going to throw at me. So, with the circumstances presented to me, and um, I think you know, I did the best I can today. I think I can definitely kind of go away from Tokyo knowing that um, you know, that there's nothing more I could have physically, emotionally, mentally done. Um, and yeah, so. Even though it's a sixth place, it feels like um, I've achieved something way more valuable um, than just a placing today. Oh, just I've um, I've known Livia now for four years. I've seen her journey, and you know, from somebody to it's, for our sport, it's so difficult just to qualify within four years. Um, it's rare actually, but what she's done is the first has ever been done in our sport in, in terms of the UK in terms of starting a sport in a cycle and actually meddling. Um, quite a remarkable achievement and uh, you know, I hope it gets the publicity it deserves because um, you know, I feel like a, an, a proud older, older brother today um, and the first thing I did was give her a hug, I was so proud of her, uh, she held her nerve, she came in with incredible form and um, yeah these kids are inspiring me to, you know, to, to potentially come back if I'm healthy so uh, yeah absolutely incredible performance.